So in our last live stream, we actually talked about Tesla's up to 10,000 cars sitting on a lot, Model 3s and Ys, waiting for a software update to be delivered. Yeah, we also had a little bit of speculation. Are yeah. the S and X, is this what has delayed the S and X as well? Yeah. We didn't know. Now we have the answer. Yeah, and so we actually saw yesterday on Tesla's website, they removed the wording of a front radar from Model 3 and Model Y pages, but not S and X, a little bit more on that later. But today, Tesla finally announced why that is. Basically, Tesla has started displaying messages to people who are planning on taking delivery soon that their vehicles will no longer have radars installed. Tesla is starting the transition to their Tesla Vision only system, which will only use the cameras, no longer using radar. Yeah, which is going to be interesting because that radar actually bounced off of cars in front of you to see two cars in front of you. So it's interesting that they're getting rid of that, but this vision must be light years ahead. And this is probably what Elon was referring to with the next rewrite of autopilot. And it's gonna be interesting to see, cause right now we were driving in traffic and I cannot see the vehicles in front of us. I don't believe our car can either, right. but, but the radar is displaying there's multiple cars. And so it, it remains to be seen how good this is gonna be, but Tesla does seem very confident that they can do this because they're not installing those radar units in those cars going and, forward. And what Elon's always said about LiDAR and the rationale behind not needing it is, us human drivers drive with two eyes. Yeah. So if you put eight cameras on a car, it should be even better than a human driver without the need for a radar, LiDAR, any of that. So in a way, it does kind of make sense. And so one reason that Tesla is sending out this notification and why they've posted it on their website is there's going to be some reduction in capabilities for these new vehicles. Yeah. And we've seen this in the past. Basically, when uh, Tesla used to have Autopilot 1 back in 2015, 2016, that had certain functionalities. Then when they started the launch of Autopilot 2 hardware, they no longer offered some of those functionalities, like t the TAC was no longer available. It was a little bit of a regression and for a temporary. So you, some people lost features, not in existing cars, but new cars that were being delivered no longer had those functionality. And when we took delivery of like one of the very first uh, Autopilot 2 vehicles back at the end of 2016, uh, I had they had just released that tag that the traffic aware cruise control, but it did not have like auto steer and lane keeping, which had been previously available in autopilot one. And over the coming months, we had to wait as they did numerous software releases. And like when auto steer was first released, it was limited to 35 miles an hour. So it was not really usable on the highway and it wouldn't enable off the highway. So you really couldn't use it. And then as the months went on, they, you know, bump the speed up to like 45 or 55 or 75. And over the coming year, it became amazing. And But right now, Tesla is indicating that with these cars that are being delivered without radar, they are not going to have uh, that full auto steer functionality. It will have auto steer, but you're gonna be limited to a maximum of 75 miles an hour. So for most cases, you can still drive on the highway at, at highway speeds. Also, they indicated that smart summon will not be available on these vehicles, as well as emergency lane departure avoidance. So again, these will be added at a later date. As basic says, in the weeks ahead, we will be restoring these features via a series of over the air software updates. All other autopilot and full self-driving features will be active at delivery, depending on order configuration. And again, this is only for the Model 3 and the Model Y that are newly built in yeah. May of 2021. The S and X, which we have seen showing up on the lot in Fremont, still have radars. Yeah, and they actually point out in the note that they posted online is the reason they are keeping them in S and X and doing it in 3 and Y is because 3 and Y are a higher volume vehicle. So that way they can gather a lot more data that much quicker because they're delivering so many more of them. And, and basically they can continue using, you know, the S and X won't need software updates right now, right away. So they can yeah. focus on those high volume vehicles. There's another question they have listed is, how do you know if your car is equipped with a radar? Basically any car that has been built in May, 2021, that's a Model 3 or a Model Y will not have that radar. If you did place an order for a vehicle before then, then you will be contacted beforehand to let you know that uh, you will not be receiving the car with a radar. They might be able to find some still in inventory. Inventory is pretty slim though. And, yeah, and that's, so that's why these cars that we have been seeing, the 10,000 or whatever on the lot, those are those vehicles without a radar, they're waiting for those software updates. Exactly, so those of you who have had your Model 3 or Model Y delivery date pushed, we now at least have an actual 
reason for why. And it goes perfectly in line with what we talked about in our live stream that somebody got word from the sales associate that they were just waiting for that software update and then they can deliver their view. Yeah. And while it's interesting, we, we were thinking maybe the SNX for the same, again, this is just Model 3 and Y. And as luck would have it, we have a friend who will be taking delivery of one of these very first Model Ys without a radar this coming weekend. Yeah. So we're gonna meet up with them, see if we can do a comparison between maybe our Model Y or their other Model Y, which was previously our Model Y. Previously <laughs> ours. And their brand new one without a radar. And we'll do some quick tests just to see how it compares. And, and again, yeah. you're not gonna be able to do like all of the functionality, but we'll be able to just see, does it work at all? Exactly, it'll be interesting just to kind of compare. I have a feeling it's gonna be almost like when you mentioned the Autopilot 2 situation. It, a little bit of regression, but coming up soon, it'll actually go ahead. And then potential. surpass it and be so exactly. much better. Now, the one thing we don't know though, are these cameras getting a different camera module? Is there gonna be different cameras? Are they gonna to have to have several branches of autopilot code? One for cars with radar and one for cars with just cameras? That's, that's a good question, because these new cameras could be higher resolution or exactly. different color filters. Could be totally different cameras. It could be, so they might have to have several branches and maybe different software updates. I don't know. I, we don't really know much at so, this point. So we'll definitely have to do some tests on like the dash cam and you the bet. sentry videos just to compare them really quick to see if the resolution has changed at all. But it's possible they could still have higher resolution cameras, but been downgrading that resolution to dump it to the USB drive. Exactly. And maybe in the future, any car with that radar, maybe they'll be able to omit that code and it'll just kind of be there but they won't actually need it. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. So like for existing SNX or even the SNX that are brand new being produced now, yeah. while they might have a radar, they can just turn it off, ignore it, assuming the cameras are, are compatible. Exactly, it'll be really interesting to test it out. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to bring you this like breaking news because this is pretty big. Tesla's taking a huge leap forward and I don't want to necessarily say a gamble because I'm sure they've done their test and made sure this will work. Just takes a lots of lots of testing. They got to be sure, exactly. like Elon says, like the nine 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 nine. They have to be certain that it will work properly, and that's that's what they're doing. Exactly. So definitely taking a step forward in Elon's hope of bringing FSD and really not needing lidar or radar because us human drivers drive with just two eyes. So why Most would you necessarily need? a LiDAR or radar. That's basically it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Definitely comment down below how you feel about this. Are you willing to take delivery of a car without a radar or does that make you too nervous where you might be looking for an inventory or even a gently used model? Speaking of which. So definitely <laughs> let us know down below and we can talk about it down there. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your model SX3 or Y, much like this one, definitely check them all out linked below. And using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Our two must have accessories are definitely gonna be a center console wrap. They have them for the Gen 1 and Gen 2 center consoles for 3 and Y. It really helps protect that under material as well as create your car your own. As well as a matte screen protector, it really helps cut down any glare from the sun and thanks to its oleophobic surface, cut down any greasy fingerprints. A lot of them will just disappear and it is super easy to clean. It helps prevent scratches as well. And scratches. So that's pretty much it. Definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.